What's up guys, today I'm going to show you my impressions of the Windows 8 and tell you what I like and don't like about it. So when you first start up Windows 8, you're going to notice it's a completely different interface. There is no, you don't go directly to the desktop, you go into these little tiles and this kind of shows that Microsoft is doing kind of what Apple is doing and uh, infusing uh, iOS and the Mac Microsoft is fusing their Windows 8 phone with their operating system so it's kind of like a mirror or kind of a copy but uh, when you first start up you're gonna have these tiles I actually started installing some apps from the store which are it's okay so uh, first things you got your mail your calendar um, contacts which is your people uh, photos, video, messaging, and all of these use your Windows Live account. And uh, I just haven't, I just haven't set up uh, my Microsoft account yet. So uh, it's just a standard email account. There's really nothing special about it. So first, um, I'll take you to the actual desktop. So down here, you're gonna have the actual desktop what everybody is used to so we click on that and uh, you're actually not gonna have this parallel shares folder I'm actually running this on my Mac but as you can see it's the standard Microsoft desktop there's nothing really that changed about it the only difference is you don't have a start menu so <laughs> that's that's a little weird so you're probably wondering like how do I get out of here or what so actually what you do is you come down here to the little corner or this is how I've been doing it you come down to the little corner and then you click that and then it access uh, back to the main interface so let's go to the store then and then the store is basically just an app store that's all it is uh, the layout is kind of weird um, it does go by games, social, entertainment, photos, sports, books, references. So it kind of has that iOS feel to it. But um, we'll go to uh, we'll go to Wikipedia, and of course you need a Windows. I'm pretty sure you need a Windows Live account to do this. So if you want it, uh, you click install, and then you see like these little purple bars go and uh, it'll tell you that it's installing so to get out of this is actually um, kinda weird actually oh, th there you go uh, Wikipedia has been installed uh, to get out of this to get out of anything is kinda weird because they don't have like a dedicated button so you're like how do I get out of here uh, what you actually do is you come down here to the little corner and then uh, you can go like that or you could go back into there see so if you need to get out of something uh just go down to the little corner and plus if you go down the little corner if you're in an interface uh it shows up like this like multitasking uh, bar i guess um so then once your app is installed it's right there it's always going to be it's never going to be in your desktop or on your desktop it's always going to be um on in, in, here so you can also like move around move around apps too so if you want to put them like right here and then put that right there and then put your windows live games start like a new tab to keep them organized that's usually um how you do it so that's like the whole main interface i'm not gonna lie it's actually kind of confusing at first you you're, you're really gonna have to play with it to, to get used to it because you don't have your standard desktop like you normally have uh, you can still download um, still download uh, software programs so um, if we happen to go to let's see let's go to download.com let's just download um, I need an antivirus actually so Let's go to here. Let's go to Avos. And we click download. And I'm just 
everybody knows how to well most people know how to download programs but on Windows 7 um, it's just like a tab weird of uh, of doing it so okay so anything that you download off the internet is gonna go onto your desktop and also on onto your uh, main interface with your tile so there's actually a tile called Avast free antivirus so if I want to move this I can I can move it to here I can pretty much move it anywhere and uh, oops there we go so you can pretty much move it anywhere so that's kind of just the first impression of playing with Windows 8 um, it's actually pretty different from Windows 7 uh, anybody making the jump from uh, Windows XP or even uh, Windows Vista is definitely going to be in for a little bit of a surprise. It's going to be definitely a little weird getting used to not going straight to your desktop. Um, I like the tiles. I think they're uh, a good organization. Um, I don't like the fact that I don't go straight to my desktop and there's no dedicated home button. Hopefully that will get fixed. Um, by the time there's a release or there's um, a service pack that comes out but that's my first impressions of the Windows 8 operating system leave a comment down below of what you think of Windows 8 are you going to get it are you not going to get it um, if you are gonna if you are getting Windows 8 what do you like about it or have you used the beta until then, uh, make sure that you hit that little thumbs up button uh, and also add it to your favorites if it is your favorite. And of course, always hit the subscribe button. Helps me out tremendously. Share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, wherever people want to learn about Windows 8. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.